Colton, you made a lot of headlines recently when McLaren announced that you would test a Formula One car uh, for them. How long was that process in the making for you? Um, yeah, I mean, it was always a goal of mine was to be able to, to get in one of those cars and see what they're actually like. Um, so I'm very fortunate that Zach and Andreas Seidel and all the guys at McLaren have given me this, this chance to be able to, to kind of just dip my feet in and see what a, an F1 car is, is really like. And hopefully it's mutually beneficial and I can give good feedback on the car and something that they can use this year on their cars. But for me, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be so cool just to be able to finally get a hold of one of those things and, and see what I can do in it. When did Zach, uh, you, you've probably known Zach for a long time, I'm sure. He's, yeah. He's been around the, he's been around the racing world. We've had him on this program talking about how long he was involved in IndyCar. When did Zach first approach you? When did you get to know him? Um, I probably first met Zach in maybe late 2018, early 2019, um, when they were looking at, at doing an IndyCar program, um, and so I, I got to know him through through IndyCar and in that aspect. And um, I actually came close to, to signing with them one year. And, and so obviously I had a lot of talks with Zach. But yeah, I think it, I don't remember exactly where I was and, and how it happened, but it all happened very fast about um, Zach said, you know, he's interested in, in letting me test one of their cars and um, of course I was all for it because it's going to be a great opportunity for me just to get in one of those things. So, um, yeah, I'd known Zach for, for maybe three years now and, and never really talked about F1 with him. It's always been, um, you know, just talking about racing in general, cause he's such a, uh, a, a car head. So it's, it's, it's cool that he was, uh, you know, able to give me the opportunity to be, be testing his cars. You'll be heading to England at some point here this spring to be fitted for a seat, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of June, I'll be going over there, get fit in the seat. And then obviously we'll do some sim work and stuff ahead of uh, preparing for, for the test. Do you have any more clarity on where you'll be testing or, or the kind of time frame? Yeah. I, um, I know when and where I'll be testing for, for the first set of days. Um, but yeah, it hasn't been released yet. So not sure if I can say or not, but um, yeah, it'll be it'll be before the end of the IndyCar season, and then I think more will come after the end of the IndyCar season. So um, yeah, and you've never been in a Formula One car, never, never. I don't even think I've ever sat in one. <laughs> so this, yeah, it'll be a cool experience. Um, yeah, something different. See how they work compared to IndyCar, and and yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. You mentioned the simulator too. There's a lot of talk about how amazing the simulator is that McLaren has. Right. Yeah. I got to go over there actually in like 2019. I did some sim work with them. Um, and it was, you know, very interesting to see everything. Uh, whereas, you know, sim work over here, it's, we don't have like in-house sims. It's all done through engine manufacturers and they pump up most of the money in because it is a lot of money to get those things running and, and keep them running at a high level. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. You know, they write their own stuff, all their own code. The cars are their own program and stuff. So it's, um, yeah, it's really cool. Can't wait to get back. I haven't been there in so long. So when I've been to that facility, it, it is something that's out of a, out of a James Bond. Uh, it is. Film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. But I mean, obviously the money that they're working with in F1 is also incredible. So you need a facility like that. Um, okay, maybe it doesn't need to look that cool because it looks just like <laughs> badass and there's so many look. layers and levels to it. Yes. But, um, right, like you need, it's, it's amazing how many people are working in F1 and how much money mm -hmm. is, is, it takes to run those cars. So, um, yeah, it, it was a really cool experience. It's the first time I've ever been, I think it's the first time, yeah, the first time I ever went to, to a race team's factory was, was then in 2019. And it was, it was definitely an eye-opening experience.